I have to hear that alarm one more time, I swear to God. So The Forever Purge is the fifth and hopefully final Purge film of the Purge film franchise. This one taking place after the events of the Purge election year. And then the events of the Forever Purge after an annual Purge takes place. A group of Purgers feel like that one night is not nearly enough. So this group of Purgers along with a bunch of other Purgers keep purging even after the annual Purge is done. Alrighty guys, so let's get into The Forever Purge. Excellent! <laughs> Shockingly, there are two things about the Forever Purge that I thought were quite decent. Trust me, I know. Starting off with the characters. There's a particular character in this movie played by Josh Lucas that has a character arc that I found to be rather interesting. Going on to the action sequences, there is a particular action sequence that takes place in the third act and this action sequence is all in one shot and I gotta tell you all, I was actually quite impressed with this. I was watching this and in my head I was thinking, wait a second, the purge is actually impressing me? Well that's just fucking great! <laughs> guys, I swear, these fucking movies! If you guys have been following me for quite some time, you will all know that I have not liked and the Purge films. To be fair, I will address this really quick. If you guys have seen my review of the original Purge film that I did with my buddy Lucas back in 2013, you will all know that I originally gave that movie a 3 out of 5. Yes, I originally did give the first Purge film, no, not that movie, the original film, a 3 out of 5. However, upon rewatch, I really disliked that movie. And every subsequent Purge film, I have liked less and less. Knowing that, of course, as you all can imagine, when I heard that they were making a fifth movie, I just thought, No! What? I get that there are fans of these movies, and if you are, I'm happy for you guys. But for me personally, as a horror fan, as a film franchise that they keep touting as the next big thing in horror, I don't see why these things are the next big thing in horror. I mean, I guess for the what-if concept, yes, cool concept, but that would never work in reality. I still went into this movie with the slightest amount of optimism thinking, okay, you know what? Even though this is the fifth movie, I have these godforsaken movies. Maybe, just maybe this is the movie that makes me somehow a fan. Nah. I will say this much. This movie is just slightly improved upon when it comes to the first Purge, Purge Anarchy, and Election Year. However, does that make it a good movie? Hell fucking no. Forever Purge is still a god awful installment of the Purge franchise. Starting off with the characters. What characters? What characters are in this movie? Besides the character thought by Josh Lucas, which by the way, I don't remember the character's name. I could not tell you all a single character's name will actually, I'll take that back. I remember two characters names. Juan and Adela. Besides Juan Adela, I cannot remember a single character's name in this movie. Not a single character in this movie. Where is their arcs? There is not a single character in this movie that has an arc besides Josh Lucas' character. And even then, not a single character in this movie is memorable. And then there's the dialogue in this movie. Oh my freaking god, the dialogue in this movie. There is a sequence in this movie where Adela and her boss named Darius are arrested after they have supposedly purged when they really haven't. They're in this police van with this neo-Nazi and I believe his girlfriend in this movie. I swear to god. <laughs> his dialogue and the way he performs it, just to give you guys an example. Oh, 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 you guys hear that? That's AK-47? Oh, AR-15? Oh, that's the Sons of America, guys. Oh my god, I'm losing my f I'm losing my mind right now. How does shit like this get greenlit? This baffles me. A lot of critics have liked the cinematography and the visual style. What? The look of this movie and the shooting style? This movie feels like a made-for-TV soap opera 
with a larger budget. And in some certain scenes with the color grading, it feels like they just put an Instagram filter. I imagine that a lot of you have an Instagram profile out there and when you upload pictures, you might apply a filter, you might edit that certain filter to make it look even better. There's a particular filter on Instagram called Lo-Fi. I swear to God, there are a couple of scenes in this movie that have the Lo-Fi filter. It's like the filmmakers in the editing bay Instead of color grading the movie, they just slapped a lo-fi filter on this movie. Besides that one-shot take sequence, which I thought was very impressive, the action sequences in this movie weren't that great. They really weren't. The previous Purge films were actually pretty damn gory. This time around, I don't know what it was, but it really felt that they actually kind of cut back on the gore this time around. There is one kill where I just thought, oof. Okay, that looked painful. The kills in this movie, surprisingly enough, felt like they were actually tamed down compared to the other Purge movies. Especially when it came to the editing. Of course, it's the quick cutting BS of the previous Purge movies, so for the most part, I couldn't tell you what was going on. As you all know, the Purge does tout itself as a horror film franchise. What the Forever Purge tries to do for horror, besides the what if concept which would never happen in real life, but this is what the Forever Purge does. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, the Forever Purge resorts to false alarm jump scares. <laughs> false alarm jump scares are not scary. Oh my god, these movies are gonna drive me fucking crazy. One thing in particular that the Forever Purge absolutely fails at doing, and if I'm being honest, the other Purge films have absolutely failed at this too. The previous four Purge films have attempted to have this political subtext along with these social commentary undertones. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but holy crap. At least in the previous four Purge films, they tried to tell some type of story and they tried to have these political subtexts and the social commentary as subtle undertones. It's like they did a switcheroo and they tried to have the social commentary and the political subtext up front and on stage and making the story on the back burner. Every single social commentary thing that you can think of, every little thing that you can think of, this movie throws at the wall and it prays to God that it sticks. I don't know if you guys have seen Drake and Josh, but there's a Drake and Josh episode where Drake and Josh get jobs, but there's one particular part in this episode where they get jobs as making sushi. This job is going so horribly that they have to keep making these rolls faster and faster that in order to impress their boss, they end up throwing these sushi rolls on the ceiling. This is what I imagined the Purge writer is doing with all these social commentary issues while trying to write this thing. Dude, they stick! But as a result, instead of them trying to throw all these issues and them sticking, they all just fall flat on their faces and none of them ever work. And then there's the ending. Guys, for the love of God, please don't. No more. And here we go. So overall, if this really is the final Purge movie, thank you. God, it isn't as bad as the first purge or even election year for that matter, but still it is not at all a good movie. As a huge horror fan and as a film franchise that has been calling itself as the next big horror franchise, to me the purge franchise is an insult to the genre. All in all, I'm going to give the forever purge a points out of 5 stars. If you're a fan of these movies, you might like it, but if you're like me and if you have never been a fan of these movies, stay clear. So comment down below and let me know out of any horror film out there or out of any horror film franchise which horror film or which franchise do you consider to be an absolute insult to the genre? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat so if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms all the links and the are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Forever Purge. If so please hit that like button also subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for whenever the latest video of mine goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until my next video or review, I'll see you all next time.